let's welcome to Mr. Leonard. My name is Leonard Olmsted. I live in Wheatley, Ontario, all my life. I'd like to uh, introduce uh, all the, your wonderful daughter, Nancy Plum, here, right? Thank you. Today, we're going to have uh, Lake Perch. Lake Perch. Which is yellow perch. Uh -huh. And Walleye Pike. Walleye Pike. And, Pickerel. Uh, same name, right? Same name. One of the main things uh -huh. is to buy good quality fish in the first uh -huh. place. And how you can tell that a good quality fish, mm -hmm. as you can see, this has a, a shine to it. It is. Yes. And uh, the other thing is, before you cook the fish, just run your fingers along here to check and make sure that the filleting job was done good. Today, I'm going to show you how to skin okay. a fillet. That's good, a unique uh, skill. And one thing you need is a very sharp knife. Uh -huh, so okay. you just put your fingers and hold the tail uh -huh, there uh -huh. and just start to cut there and hold it. Hold it. And then slide the knife along and Beautiful. it skins the fillet. I don't throw it because yeah. I want to eat it. Yeah, okay, there's the Here skin you go. for that Okay, fillet. we'll talk about a skin later. <laughs> Now, and then you cut it? Now I cut it uh -huh. in half because of the size of the fryer we're using. Uh, you don't want a long piece that's mm -hmm. going to curl. Mm -hmm. And the other thing for the, for the household who have little children. Okay. The best piece of fish to give the children is the tail piece. The tail because there's piece. no pin bones, no possible possibility of bones being in that section of the fish. Right. And we're going to skin this fillet the same as we did uh -huh. the pickerel. That's a yellow perch, right? These Today. are yellow We're, perch. Okay. Yeah. I love yellow perch. Pickerel, those are good fish, eh, Nancy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and beautiful. there we are with the perch. Okay, keep the skin. The next step, after you are sure you have your deep fryer uh -huh. uh, on, cooking temperature is 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. You want to have fresh oil. Uh -huh. Now, I only oil use the oil not more than three or four times. Now, the batter I use are fresh eggs. Fresh eggs. Fresh okay. eggs. Right. And I whisk the eggs. Yeah. Beat them whisk. up. Yeah. Then right. I put the fish, oh, the perch, in. Okay. and the pickerel Mix. in the batter. In the batter. And let it use soak. a fork. Uh huh. To make sure they're all covered. The breading crumbs I buy at the fish store. I put that in a bowl, uh -huh. which is going to, be, uh, going to be soggy. Soggy. Okay, now. I'm just going to leave that there. I know, Leonard, for me, he's the role model of us. Yeah. He's the uh, inspiration. How many pieces, like that little deep fryer, how many pieces at once? Three, probably? Mo no more than no four. No more than four. If the fish are floating, that's how hey, you Jeff, cut. Oh, see? Hey, Jeff, I saw okay. one. There's a second one floating now. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. 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 He taught you very well. Well, I right? think he, did. <laughs> he didn't do too bad a job. Yeah. Perch and pickerel. Puts the icing on the cake when uh -huh. you have a little bit of tartar sauce. Uh -huh. You can go to the store and get ready made, squeeze it in mm -hmm. a bottle like you would ketchup. Mm -hmm. But let's, why not just try making it ourselves? It's mm -hmm. real, real simple. Put it there. Add a little bit of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, so that's the first step. Yes. And then uh, a bit of chopped onion. Chopped onion. Yes. It's a white onion yep. or sweet onion? Sweet, sweet, sweet Spanish. Sweet onion, okay. And right. then I picked these chives from the garden this morning, fresh yeah. chives. Okay, fresh chives. And I like the uh, relish. It gives relish. it a little bit of a sweetness to it. I never know you put a relish. Yeah. This oh, what's is this? Um, uh, mustard. Mustard? Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of mustard? Because mustard has a different, uh, Dijon yeah. or regular? This is Dijon. Okay. If you want to give it a little mm -hmm. zip, you could use some uh, Tabasco. Tabasco? And so you just put a little bit of Tabasco in there. Uh -huh. the TBQ seasoning here. You could use any seasoning. Yeah, all-purpose seasoning. Yeah, yep, yep. So I just put a little in my hand here, uh -huh. throw it in. It gives a little color. And then stir it all up. Um, so, so doesn't it have nice color to it as well? And it smells and good. And it's so simple. Like, so simple. What yeah. did that take us all of a minute to make? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put mm -hmm. the perch on one side. Mm -hmm. Um, 
beautiful. Look yes, at so the yes. curd you put it here like a little fan flower. Yes, yes, okay. yes. And then we're going to put the pickerel on the other side. Sometimes when you go uh -huh. to restaurants, uh -huh. um, they give you a choice. Like uh -huh. you can have a perch dinner uh -huh. or a pickerel dinner. Mm -hmm. And then what we could do is just take this little uh, cup like this. Put a put little, a little sauce. Uh, wow. sauce in the center, like so. Mm -hmm. My God, that's so pretty. Everybody but, uh, loves lemon with fresh fish. Put some lemon excellent. on both sides. And like, it was so simple. You're a skin lover, are you? Better than restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Give me a hug. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Susie. Thank you so much. Time come. Don't cry. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh, whoa. I want to specially thank you, our Your TV crews. Here's a Mike. Here's a Alisa and the Jacobs. Without them, we will never film today. I cannot find more word to say thank you. And also thank you, each chefs, your professional or non-professional. Your effort, your skill, your love, your passion will inspire all of us. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I see you again. Woo!